In this installment of Google Ads for Roofing Contractors, we'll dive into the process of creating separate campaigns for our example roofing, window, and siding services. Here is a brand new Google Ads interface. Uh, right now you'll see that there are no campaigns. We just set up a demo account. So you can go ahead and click on new campaign. Uh, it's going to ask you what type of goal you want to have for the campaign, but we're not going to choose a goal. We're just going to choose to manually uh, go ahead without any guidance. All these options I end up doing up here is filtering out which options you have down here. So these are all different types of Google ads that you can run. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're only gonna be running search ads. So there's no reason to go into things like shopping ads and smart campaigns, at least not yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on search and then it's going to ask you what type of results you wanna get out of the campaign. These are things that we can end up uh, tweaking later on in the campaign setups. So for right now, let's just leave those off because it'll end up just asking more questions. So let's go ahead and click on continue. From here, we have to choose a name for the campaign. I would recommend just doing something like roofing for right now, just something broad that's not going to be service specific. So don't create a campaign for roofing replacement unless you wanted to actually have different campaigns for each service of roofing you offer. So we're just gonna, we're, we are just going to create a basic roofing campaign you would probably want to leave on include Google search partners for who is going to end up seeing these ads. So that would be other search engines that partner up with Google. Uh, that's perfectly fine to run that on that. I would, however, recommend turning off display network. If you want to run display ads, do it as a display campaign with a specific targeted budget toward that. Do not utilize your search network campaign budget to also run Google display ads. It's just not a great idea. They're also going to tell you that you're going to miss this great opportunity to reach 3 million more websites and apps. Yeah, again, if you want to reach those people, set up a specific campaign for doing so. It's always good to open up more setting options when you see that available to you. Right now, uh, we can leave all these set by, uh, you know, just exactly how they are. But now when we get into the locations, this is another area where I see people make mistakes all the time. Uh, most people don't need to target the entire country unless you have a large budget where it's a very niche service. You're probably not going to be able to run a campaign to the entire country, at least not with getting a large impression share. So what will end up happening is that people will choose enter another location. And now let's just say that you want to target Chicago. Another problem that I see people do is that they will target Chicago, but then they won't click again on these extra little buttons that show you additional options. And then you'll see in here that the first target that Google always recommends is people in who or who show interest in your target locations. So what that's basically telling you is that somebody could be in Miami looking for Chicago roofing companies just because they want to look at websites that are, you know, for Chicago roofing companies. Now, that's not going to be a potential sale for you because that person is not going to hire you to go from Chicago down to Miami to install a new roof. So what you'll want to do is click on the option for people in or regularly in your targeted locations. Another thing you can do is language selections here, but I would probably just leave that alone at English. You could also put in Spanish if you have a multilingual uh, business. For audiences, I would probably leave that alone for right now as well. I've never seen people quickly throw in an audience without like doing a lot more testing uh, in order to like narrow in the results. So for right now, I think you're better off just leaving that empty. For a budget, let's put in, uh, we're going to have to put in something decent because a lot of roofing campaigns will end up having click costs that are in the $8 to $12 area. Now, this is highly subjective. Every market is going to be different. Time of day is going to be different. The day that you run the ads is going to be different. Uh, your quality score, oh, there's so many factors involved in it. So I, I think just from a, a good starting point, let's just throw in like $25 a day so that your first click isn't going to end up having to turn off your campaigns for the rest of the day. For bidding, we can leave it at clicks. There are other options, but you'd end up having to have more traffic coming into your campaigns if you were wanting to do conversions or conversion value. Uh, those are really good options if you also have a really good funnel set up on your website where you're collecting leads. So you can't really do conversion optimization if you only have a single contact form that's not really well set up and it's hard to get to because you're just not going to get as many people filling it out. There are other conversions you can do too. So don't get me wrong. There's more than just the email conversions that you can set up. But for right now, let's just do clicks. I don't think that I would recommend right out of the gate setting a maximum cost per click. Uh, it sounds like a great idea, but I would probably just leave that off for right now. I would also hit show more settings. Here's a couple other good ideas. So add scheduling. It This is something that you'd want to like play around with. So 
Some people find better success running ads between like eight in the morning and five in the afternoon because that's when you know they're around for normal business. Other companies find success running ads even later into the night because people get home and they're looking for a roofing company at like 10 o'clock at night. Uh, other people might even try to be targeting storm damage uh, clicks, which might happen on a night and a weekend. So for right now, I'd probably leave that uh, just set to all day. So then we also get other options here for ad extensions. We'll set these up later. So let's not handle those right now. And then let's go ahead and click on save and continue. Thank you for watching. Please check out the next video in this series to continue.